all the way from Tuscany, Italy, courtesy of viewer Jamie Horn, Monet Shave Soap. We're going to build a lather with it, and we're going to have a shave coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and my channels everywhere. It's MarkWithGeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Great to see you again. I love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shea. We have a brand new shave soap in the shave den, courtesy of viewer Jamie Horn. Jamie, thank you very, very much. Before we get to that, hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, Jamie Horn very, very kindly sent along from Abatia y La Mantia. I think I, no, here it is. <laughs> Abate y La Mantia. I got I to gotta get that right. Abate y La Mantia. Here it is. Monet Shave Soap. Yes, there he is, Claude Monet, the Impressionist painter, right there on the label. This is an homage to Monet's gardens uh, at his estate, uh, which was located in Germany, France, uh, which is north of Paris. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> My apologies if I mangled it up. Givernay, I think it is. Givernay, France, I think is how it's pronounced. Anyhow, uh, this is just an outstanding scent, and the performance is just, it promises spectacular performance is what, I is what I'm trying to say. I've been reading about this ever since I received the, uh, the shave soap from Jamie, and I have two days worth of beard growth, so we're definitely going to have a shave. It's going to be an all artist, all Italian kind of shave. Before I get to that, let me show you some information that came with the shave soap. The more, this is the Monet formula. The active principles in here are saffron extract and Italian rose hip. Now, saffron extract is known as the elixir of youth. It's been around for thousands and thousands of years. And uh, Italian rose hip is a wild rose berry and a source of vitamin C. Uh, its concentration is 100 times higher than other citrus fruits. Uh, it really is uh, amazing. This shave soap has antioxidant properties that repair the action of free radicals. And uh, the Italian rose hips contain natural acids with a smoothing and moisturizing effect. That coupled with the saffron extract and the water lily olfactory sensation that you get from it just promises to be an outstanding performing shave soap. I am really, really looking forward to this. So we are going to kick it off with a hot towel. Uh, and then we're going to use Parasso uh, pre-shave. Yeah, brand new Parasso pre-shave here. A little bit of menthol kick there. That's also all the way from Italy. That just arrived. We're going to be using my Starry Night lathering bowl, right? Starry, starry night, Vincent van Gogh. We're going to be using an Italian razor. I haven't used this one in quite some time. Here it is, the Fatip Grande open comb razor in brass, nickel plated. Love this razor quite a bit. It really is very, very good. And I'm looking forward to the open comb uh, helping knock down two days worth of beard growth. Uh, the blade is going to be Where's my razor blade? Here it is, right here. Uh, Gillette Platinum. These are the Swedes. Uh, thank you very much to Beth Jones for sending these along. These are absolutely wonderful. Uh, we're going to go ahead and load this blade right now. Again, these came courtesy of viewer Beth Jones. Thank you very, very much, Beth. Uh, love this blade. Really, this blade is an outstanding, outstanding blade. Let me get rid of that little bit of wrapper there. Okay, set that aside like that. Here is my cap. There is the, uh, I want to make sure you see the label here. Ah, there it is right there. Okay, I got to flip that around very carefully. There's the Gillette Platinum Swede right there. Boy, this is great. Boy, that fits in there so nicely. Wow. Love this Fatip Grande. Haven't used this in quite some time. All right, the end tabs of the 
razor blade are enclosed in the cap. I can just barely feel them. For all practical purposes, they are enclosed. And we're going to snug that up. And uh, the blade balance and alignment on this, absolutely spot on. This is a nice, mild razor, approaching medium aggression. But boy, this really, really, I really enjoy using this. Love the piping on the handle here. Gives you a nice, nice grip. Uh, we're going to finish it off with uh, an alum block. Uh, actually, we're going to finish it off with an alum stick from Shave Nation. We've been talking about uh, using alum blocks as alum sticks. Well, I happen to have the Shave Nation uh, alum stick right here, so that's what we're going to be using right there. Uh, also, a little bit of uh, witch hazel, Phoenix Shaving, PAA witch hazel right here. And uh, Vincent aftershave also from uh, Jamie Horn thank you very very much Jamie this is uh <laughs> this is a marvelous marvelous scent and it goes very very nicely with just about any shave soap out there which is why we're using this although it's not the same kind of scent it really does complement the scent of this particular Monet shave soap so we got Vincent van Gogh we got Claude Monet oh yeah <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this shave my um my brush is going to be the ever-popular Simpson T3 with the ebony handle. Thanks to Mark Bagwell for this. Let's put that in there and let's let that soak up a little bit. Now, I have the Starry Night Lathering Bowl right here. I've got some hot water in there. We're going to go ahead and dump that out. I've got a little tool here to scrape out some of this shave soap. Love this tin, by the way. Really neat tin. Love the labeling and the presentation and the packaging. Just absolutely top-notch. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and take, now I don't know how much to take, so I'm probably going to, I'm going to take that much, it's probably going to be, in all honesty, too much, but I am going to err on the side of more, rather than not having enough. Now this is a croak, so it's not a hard soap, it's a croak, you can uh, do a, a brush load from it if you want to, you can just scrape some out as I have done and just uh, place that in the uh, shave bowl, the lathering bowl. Let me close up the tin here. And we'll set this aside just for the time being so it doesn't get wet. And here is my lathering bowl all set to go. Let's get my brush here, synthetic brush that's soaked long enough. And we're going to go ahead and build a lather right now. And really looking forward to Really looking forward to this soap. Okay, I'm going to need some water. Oh yeah, this is starting to go now. Okay, I apologize for the clanging. Probably a, a longer handled brush would have uh, avoided that. Actually, holding it like this avoids it as well. So I'm going to hold it down here and start building this lather. And I have enough water in the brush right now for the moment to uh, get this going here. And the bumps on the Starry Night lathering bowl really aid in whipping up a lather very, very quickly. As you can see, it's already, it's already coming alive. I'm going to need probably just a little more lather here, just a little more. Okay, let's just get, dip that in there. The scent is marvelous. There is a beautiful garden-like quality walking through. It just, it really does elicit a walking through a beautiful floral garden. Absolutely. This is definitely spring. So with spring, now that we're in spring, this is the perfect shave soap. This will really, really awaken your senses, especially now that we're in spring here in the Northern Hemisphere. Okay, a little more water because, my gosh, I think possibly I did use the right amount of shave soap. <laughs> I think so. Again, it's just a matter of, when you're building a ladder, it's just a matter of dialing in the correct soap to water ratio. That's why uh, I start with a little more soap, a little less water, and then I add water as I go to get this really nice, creamy, yogurty, Beautiful consistency, and look at what we have here. Look at this. This is really nice. I added just a little more water, and I think I have dialed it in precisely. Look at that. 
maybe just a little more brush action here just to get that remaining little bit of soap that was smeared and pressed into the bottom there and I think this has got it I think look at that it's overflowing I got heaps and heaps of lather here so probably I had to add water so probably a little less soap would not have uh, called for as much water as I have added. Look at this, look at this, look at the boom, lather. Oh, wow. Look at that, look at that. Isn't that marvelous? And again, the scent is fantastic. It's spectacular scent. And I am just really looking forward to painting this on and having a great shave with it. All right, we're gonna set that aside. Let's uh, wet the face a little bit, we'll get a hot towel. I always like to wet my face before I get a hot towel. Ooh, and I'm gonna go with a thick towel. I have both thin and thick. Ooh, man, that's good and hot, wow. I have both thin and thick in the hot towel cabin. I'm gonna go with thick, and we're just gonna go ahead and just, oh yeah, we're gonna wrap. Okay, here we go. I'll be back in a minute. Towel had a little excess water in it, which is why I've got a little bit on the front of my shirt there. My apologies for that little slip up, but man, oh man, that was, <laughs> that was great. Absolutely fantastic. We're going to set this aside here and we're going to use that uh, as a uh, towel to dry off our hands. We're going to use, we're not going to wet the face because I think I have enough here. We're going to use a little bit of this pre-shave right here. This is uh, this has got a nice menthol and eucalyptus kick to it. It's uh, brand new and just scooped out for the first time. Wow, that's terrific. All right, so let's set that aside and absolutely wipe off my hand because there is some nice slickness there. All right. Okay, here we go. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Look at this lather. Look at this. Look at that. That is absolutely marvelous. Boy, oh boy, I love this scent. And I'm, I'm expecting some wonderful glide and wonderful cushion. And I'm also expecting a great, great post-shave feel. Two days worth of beard growth, you know, and I did want to um, develop enough lather so I'd have enough coverage over two days worth of whisker. And it looks like I'm getting that from this shave soap. My gosh, look at that. Yeah. That's, that's wonderful. That really is. And what, a, what an absolutely wonderful, wonderful scent. Really, again, there is a, a wonderful floral quality to it. The olfactory, the olfactory note that uh, they, that they uh, cite on their uh, package, uh, package materials is uh, water lily, but there is just this beautiful garden floral uh, cascading orchestral uh, uh, group of scents there. Really, really terrific. We're gonna heat this up under some hot, 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 hot water and get right to this shave the first pass. We're gonna go uh, north to south with the grain. And uh, yeah, there we go, that's good and hot. Okay. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Really a beautiful combination of, of uh, mildness, smoothness, and efficiency. Mm. 
the glide of this Shea soap is marvelous. The hot towel definitely helped. My gosh, <laughs> that's, that's wonderful. Wow. Thing is, there's no tugging, there's no pulling at all. Again, let me remind you, two days worth of beard growth. Some nice residual slickness to allow for some buffing. Just a little bit of buffing. All right, first pass done. Let's rinse. I am uh, I am not in socially acceptable uh, territory. Uh, I'm approaching it, but definitely, 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 definitely going to need a second pass, maybe a touch up after this. We'll see. Second pass is usually my money pass. This is when I'll know uh, whether or not uh, the shave is completed. The shave is complete, or if I'm going to need a third pass, a touch-up, that sort of thing. But the uh, the the wonderful post-shave feel, uh, I can already I've already gotten a preview of it here, and it is it's it's marvelous. It really is. And look how the lather just goes on there. Oh my goodness. I think. Next time around, I'm going to do a brush load. I'm going to do a brush load and then build a lather from it. I think that'll be a, a, a good way, a good approach. Scooping out, scraping out is fine. But, man, look, I mean, here, let me just show you. This is nice, that little bit of water. Look at that. A little bit of water on my face. Aided in, painted, aided, aided in painting the lather on there very nicely. All right, we're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east, you know, just a little more right here. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right, uh, we're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. The, the post shave feel of this of this uh, lather is really really remarkable, really nice. When they say that there is a smoothing there, they're absolutely correct. Boy, that is, that is so comfortable. That is really, really very comfortable. There is, uh, the, the, the blade and the razor uh, are very nice uh, for this shave. Uh, there is some nice positive blade feel, but there's no harshness there. And this shave soap has really done a great job in providing a lot of protection but again i come back to that word smoothness it's very very smooth the poche feel feels smooth there is moisturizing qualities there there's something going on
nice maneuverability on the east to west pass with this razor and getting rid of all those little bits up underneath the nose on the upper lip. Again, I could do a little buffing there. A little bit there. All right, second pass done. Let's see where we're at. Let's rinse. Shave is done. I mean, two days worth of beard growth, two passes, a really, really wonderful, wonderful, smooth result. The post shave feel right now is really, really very, very good. They keep saying, I keep going back to that information card there, smoothing. There's a smoothing and moisturizing there. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I am getting a little bit of menthol kick right now from the Ferraso Free Shave. But this Monet Shave Soap, my gosh, this is definitely, definitely top shelf, top notch. No doubt about it. Absolutely fabulous, fabulous scent. But the performance is really the highlight here. The scent is great. The scent... The scent brings you in, but the performance really, really sells it. All right, here's my uh, two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. That's terrific. Going to flip it to the cold water side. I could probably have done a third pass, no problem, but I'm going to call a shave done after two passes. And I will get a little retraction from some whiskers here and there. Uh, wow, that was, that was great. All right, cold water rinse. A little bit of menthol kick from the Parasso. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Terrific poche feel. The cream really rinsed cleanly from the face. Boy, that's a really nice poche feel. My gosh, and there's a really nice glow to my skin right now. My gosh, the ingredients that they talk about in the informational card and on the different product pages at uh, New England Shaving Company and Maggard Razors. I think the razor company also uh, handles this. <laughs> Absolutely 100% accurate. What a great feel. I mean, I don't feel any irritation at all. This potion, I can run out the door right now. That's how great this uh, this feels here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to wet the alum stick underneath some uh, cold water here. We're going to run this over the face. See what kind of feedback we get. Uh, no stinging, no zinging at all. Boy, I'm just going to get a little more here. Again, no stinging, no zinging. This uh, alum stick is, is rather nice because you can be a little more accurate. You can really get into some of those areas like right around here. I wanted to get there, right there, and up underneath the nose a little more easily. So, yeah, that does really afford itself to a little more maneuverability. The only thing is, is that the water does drip off out the bottom here. Uh, so, you know, you have to shake that a little bit, you know, to get rid of some of the excess water from rinsing it under the uh, the tap there, just to kind of get rid of that. But just, you know, leave 
Leave the cap off, set it up, and it should dry out just fine. Perfect for traveling, really, really nice. Now, let's go ahead and just do a little bit of witch hazel here. A couple of sprays. Perfect, that's all I need. And let's check out, while that's kind of setting up there, let's check out this, uh, this lather. You know, a little bit of uh, action here brings back the body, and you can see that with that second pass, that water aided in spreading it around a little bit. So again, I'm going to have to work on dialing in the uh, the perfect amount of water and the soap. I think I'm very, very, I mean, I think I'm right on the money right here. Look, check that out. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I'm right on the money. But I think that little excess water on my face, I could, probably could have done a little agitation, a little face lather, that sort of thing, to add a little more body to it if I wanted to. Uh, which is why I'm thinking next time around I'm going to do a brush load and uh, see how that works. Uh, building the um, lather in a bowl use, using a brush load and also doing a face lather with this too. Lots of possibilities. The uh, Shea Soap, uh, it just wants to give you lather. <laughs> you get the correct water to soap ratio it just wants to delay it just says look i'm going to give you lather it really is fantastic all right so here we have vincent aftershave again courtesy of viewer jamie horn thank you very very much jamie oh jamie this is a terrific terrific scent oh my gosh this is gonna go this goes well again i don't really need an aftershave or any of this other stuff because the poche feel of Monet Shea Soap is amazing. Uh, it's, a, it's a formula unlike any other I've tried. It really is. It really delivers on, on the claims they make. It really does. Okay, uh, we did a head shave earlier this morning, so we're going to use a little bit of Mysterium Serum for up there. About that much there. And work that in. Oh, that's terrific. And I'm going to get a little, just a couple drops of Vincent here, just to get a little bit of a scented balm. There we go. Okay. Set that aside there. Okay, there we go. Aha! Boy, that's a marvelous aftershave. I'm telling you, that goes with, this goes with any, the scent of this complements any shave soap, in my opinion. Uh, this is something that if I was traveling and I had, say, a couple of different shave soaps and I wanted to kind of um, not take a lot of different scented aftershaves, I would take this and I would take the Mysterium Serum Balm and I would be all set. This would complement anything, anything that I would, any kind of soap or cream I would be traveling with, whatever scent it is. It's very, very good. But the star of the show is the uh, Monet Shave Soap. My gosh, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. There's an absolute glow. There's a rejuvenation. The elixir of youth, absolutely, no doubt about it. This is marvelous. I really, really enjoyed the uh, the shave with this. I love, love the post-shave feel. I love the feel of the lather. And uh, the uh, the scent is just perfect for spring and summer. It is vibrant and alive. Uh, it is walking through Claude Monet's gardens. Absolutely spectacular. You will absolutely love this scent. My thanks again, my sincere thanks again to viewer Jamie Horn for passing this along. Thank you very, very much, Jamie. I really, really do appreciate it. Monet Shave Soap from, let me get the name right, uh, Abate e La Mantia. Uh, absolutely fantastic artisan soap makers. Check it out. Okay, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give me a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artisan soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zeredi where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel, 
organize and categorize so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.